All right, guys, so what we're doing today is we're actually gonna do the, the mesquite coals. I like to put them inside the chimenea. Don't use any lighter fluid, nothing like that. That way you get that real natural taste from it. It does take a little bit longer than normal. I'm all about using the propane and the propane accessories when it's, when it's easier. But sometimes like this, taking your time doing it the slow way is going to be the better way of going about it. Um, the chimney does a great job, probably about 20, 25 minutes and all the coals will be warmed up. But like I said, this is all about being able to uh, prepare for this summer. Make sure when we're out there, yet by the lake, wherever we're at, we're, we're more, than, more than ready to handle any kind of situation that we can get into. And the best way to do that is by being at home and practicing in controlled environments. So. Like I said, we're going to do it old school like that. Might seem a little redundant because we're going to be putting it on a pan. But like I said, it's just a practice little dry run for uh, the summertime. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. The next part should be, be getting everything together and we'll make some fish tacos, man. Let's get it. Stay in school. You can't be out of trouble. I don't know what to do about you. Well, well, after a long day, sitting around with my boy, having a nice chill drink, watching some Mike and Molly. Life is pretty good. Got the fish filleted. Uh, got them cooling down on an ice bath in the uh, in the refrigerator in the house. We've got the coals going. We're gonna do it just like we would if we were at a uh, uh, a cookout or a camp out. So I'm gonna get the coals out, uh, get the coals going, use everything like I would like if I was out in nature, trying to do like a little couple of dry runs. So here we go. Got third part three of the catching cooks coming up. Let's see what we get. All right, guys. Well, part three of the catch and cook. We've been out there. We caught the fish. We filleted the fish. Now I've got the fire all ready to go. We're going to add the oil to it. Went ahead and put the cast iron on there. Oh, uh, Bethany's prepping up some jalapeno poppers. We're going to do on that side. And this side's going to be the side that we uh, fry the fish on. Got to put some oil in there. Let's get it started. Bethany, how much longer on those uh, poppers there? Perfect. I'm gonna get started. Should I get started on this or should I wait? We should probably do those first, huh? Those take a little longer. Mm. All right, we're gonna wait a little bit. I, I usually, I usually get excited and I, I do things too quickly. So, anyway, uh, let's get the paint off so that way we don't burn it. All right, guys, I'm a little too excited. I gotta throw this on. Just take a look at that. All filleted and battered up. Probably gotta wait a second. Got a little too close there, did that? All right. So I gotta wait just a second. Put this oil to get hot. This is what we're working with right now. So I got my little hibachi grill. Favorite little thing to take with me. Perfect little thing, put the coals in there. You can actually make a campfire and then uh, come back and use the uh, use the coals for the heat source. You don't have to bring it with you. But we'll throw the pan on there, put the pan right on it. That's why that pan's really awesome to be able to do that. And then we're gonna put our fish on there. And get everything else going like i said miss bethany's prepping up the jalapeno poppers but i am starving so i'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff going so um i'm gonna get these on here and then we'll go ahead and get the tortillas and everything else ready absolutely that sounds really great too so we got some smoked sausages from steak express but i am all about these walleye right now i am going to get this going let's see oh Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Dizzle got caught up. He couldn't make it today, but we're going to make sure we document all this. He damn sure ain't going to get none of it. Woo! Woo! Oh, Bethany, you would not believe it. Wow. Man, I can't wait. Oh, these are going to be so good. These are going to be the first wraps of 2021. Oh, we're actually doing fish tacos. Fish wraps will have to wait. But we did get some secret sauce of our own that I'm really excited about using on these fish tacos. Going to be amazing. Cannot wait. Goodness. caught these bad boys probably about 11 o'clock today I'll get much fresher than that ladies and gentlemen starting to smell like summertime oh man that's good
Yeah, I really want to go camping too. It is definitely camping time. those poppers coming awesome I use a little bit more oil on this bad boy I think I was skip fishing today. Wind was uh, rolling somewhere around 20, 21 miles an hour, predicted. And uh, AD was just, he was set. He wanted to go fishing. And uh, I'm glad he was determined because after his determination, I wouldn't have went. I mean, not going means I wouldn't be sitting here. So that's the cheek. It's a little fillet that comes out of the cheek there. Mm. Thank you. Pink lemonade, folks. Oh, it's so good. Thank you. After a long day on the on the lake, ain't nothing like a pink lemonade. Try a bite of that little cheek. Absolutely. You know the rest of it. No, well, no that's good. No, but that's your favorite. You don't want it? No. That's oh, your favorite. it yeah, is. That's good. It is. On some of these woolers, they get big ones. Mmm. I don't know. So I give you the one with all the bones in it. I hate the cheeks. <laughs> um, did you want me to grab the sausage? Sure. Are you wanting coffee? Absolutely. I'm like really, really, really hungry, so. Bring everything, shit. Whatever we got in there. If I can cook it, I'll eat it. You know what lemon pepper goes on jalapeno poppers too, don't it? Guys, looks like the fourth part of this mission is about to be done. We've got the tacos all ready to go. Our mission today is to get out there, catch some more ride, bring them in the bowl, get them in the pan, get them in the taco. So now we've got everything ready to go. Supposed to get the taco, a little bit of the green sauce. All right, put the cheese on the bottom. That way that warm, warm, melty fish will just melt. Right on top of that. And then throw some of that green shit on there. Okay. I really want to stay on there, but that's fine because it's going to get in my mouth one way or another. All right, guys. 2021, very first catch and cook. Already, almost all ready to go. That was very tough. All right, guys, looks like the very first 2021 catch and cook is about to come to an end. Got the tortillas here ready to go. Got some of the secret sauce we're gonna put on there. Got some like, yo, we ain't got no red shit, but we do have some green shit. First, everything. Let's get into it. <laughs> 